I love sneakers a lot, maybe too much. But with all the upcoming sneaker drops, I definitely have to make some room. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys five sneakers that I'm selling, and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a few sneakers that I'm saving up for. I bet there's at least one sneaker that both me and you are saving up for. It's gonna be the biggest Jordan drop of the year. But make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to see if my theory is correct. Before we jump into it, this whole channel revolves around sneakers, so if you're a sneakerhead like myself, make sure to drop a sub. We're on the road to 2,000 subs. We're hoping to hit it by October 31st at midnight it's gonna be a grind but i know we can do this all right let's get into the sneakers first up we got like a tower of sneakers over there air jordan 12 retro the twist 12 throw on some red laces and these will be one of the cleanest christmas shoes out there i really like these i enjoy that they're all white even though they may get dirty because there are definitely some occasions that call for some all white sneakers the hits of red on these look amazing look at that back tap very clean these do come with the black laces but i just don't find myself wearing these all too often on your medial side you do receive some pretty nice leather i'm not going to lie for all a pretty clean shoe but i just don't find myself wearing it that much Alrighty, number two let's see if you guys can guess the sneaker that is in here we have the air jordan 11 concord bread Low. These are actually really nice. The reason I'm getting rid of these is because I doubled up on the drop. So I'm like, hey, I have an opportunity to get another sneaker with these. Why not? I love this patent leather. It is very shiny, very clean. I love 11 lows. And it's just something about the 11s. I love the patent leather. I love the low cut. But I wear a lot of black and red, and these are super easy to match. They don't come with any extra laces, but I find the white laces that are already in them pretty fashionable. But yeah, a very good sneaker. And I'm just lucky I doubled up because now I can get another pair with these. So yeah, that is number two. Alrighty, number three, we have a size 10 Air Jordan 12 side. So to decide to go up half a size on these. Let's see if you guys can guess this one from the size tag. Here we have the Air Jordan 12 in the University Gold colorway. Man, these are still so beautiful to this day. I love this black that they used. This yellow really stands out, really pops. There we have the outsole. Now these, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I decided to cop three pairs of these, so I'm like, yo, I do not need that much pairs there was a time where i was like oh yeah if i can double up let me double up but some shoes you don't need to double up on but shoes like the air jordan one lost and found that are coming out later this year or like the blue toe allen iversons those are double ups but yeah this is a gr that i guess i just kind of went crazy on and decided to cop a few but i definitely don't need these but i have to say i will be keeping a pair because look at these these are nice these are clean throw fit together Boom, they're shining. We'll save that pair for last. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 11. You guys may be able to tell from the box. Another look at that size tag right there. Let's go ahead and pull off this lid. Air Jordan 11 Legend Blue Low. These, I really like these. Um, I wish they would've did a blue like this, but you know, this blue resembles the Air Jordan 11 high that they have of these again with the 11s i love the silhouette I find them pretty comfortable i feel like it is a lot of white though but overall not a bad sneaker you can definitely pull off some fire fits with these uh, but the fourth one air jordan 11 low legend blue and the last one this is one that i didn't double up on but i am deciding to let go there's just some sneakers where you're like i don't think i'm gonna be wearing them that much and plus if I sell this sneaker then I can get this sneaker that I want even more and I'll be talking about those sneakers in a second but here we have them let's see if you guys can guess from the box uh, this silhouette is pretty popular nowadays so you guys may be able to recognize the box let me know if you guys have any of these sneakers but yeah let's go ahead and get into it opening them up some nice paper Ooh, feel like these fly under the radar now but I really like the infrared color on it it really makes the shoe pop you got the black you got the gray with all my shoes i really like them but you know you gotta save up for the next one but like this one i can let go of yeah air jordan 4 infrared if you guys liked any of these shoes you saw check out kicked out lv because these will be posted up there all right so now i'm gonna share with you guys three shoes that i am really looking forward to so the first shoe i am really looking forward to and saving for is the aj1 lost and found those are going for over a thousand dollars right now i do not plan on paying 
over a thousand dollars for that shoe or hopefully any shoe really because that would not be the best financial decision but i hope that the resale price comes down if i'm not able to hit that way i can secure a pair and uh even retail wise i am hoping to hit a few pairs of these because i feel like it would be a good investment and plus i really love this sneaker if i'm able to get these day of i'm throwing them on i'm not wasting any time i'm going to wear them as much as possible this is just a sneaker colorway that i really like i like what they did obviously the goal is to one day have the original 85 but for now these will definitely do next up the air jordan 2 i have a good history with the aj2 and i'll share that with you when i'm able to get the new aj2 in hand i just really like what they did with this too i love the box and i'm anxiously waiting for that drop date and then i'm also saving up for the j balvin times AJ2 and the question blue toe question blue toe you know it's just iconic shoe Allen Iverson wore um, I believe it was in his first game against the Milwaukee Bucks and he killed it in that performance but then the J Balvin AJ2 again very clean sneaker I love the lights on it it just gives out this positive vibe and it's funny because it's a sneaker but you know you just see the happy face you see the blue skies and it's just a really fun sneaker let me know if you guys would sell these sneakers as well new content is always popping up on the channel make sure to check out kicked out OV on insta on Poshmark links are in description as always I hope you guys have a beautiful blessed and lovely day till the next one peace